All right, so our first question says here, rank the following compounds in order of decreasing acid strength using periodic trends. It says here, also rank the acids from strongest to weakest, and then to rank them items as equivalent, overlap them. So let's look at this question here. So we have these four things here. Uh, might have to restart this again. Oh, wait. Let me see if my pen works. Sorry about this. Might have to refresh the board here. That's okay. All right. So it says so we have HCl, HBr, H2O, and LH, right? So let's write those compounds down first. We have number one here. We have HCl. And we have HBr, and then H2O, and then LiH. So these are our four compounds here. And it's telling us we want to rank them from strongest to weakest acid. So from strongest acid to weakest. And then if, if we if we're, if we want to rank them as equivalent, we overlap them. So this is kind of the order of acidity here. So how do we figure out order of acidity? We're so we're, this is a topic of we're using um, kind of periodic trends. We're using this topic of electronegativity. So in order for us to do this, um, we have to look at um, strong acids here have a very very high. Um, very, very uh, far range, a far like great difference in terms of electronegativity. If you think about uh, fluorine, which is the most electronegative atom here, fluorine. Let's look at this. Here. Fluorine has electronegativity of four point zero zero, and then H, for example, has electronegativity. I believe it's uh, two point two zero here, and you can kind of check. I I, I kind of checked this um, over on this electronegativity table here. It says two point two zero. So the difference between two the, the two compounds here, if it's a very, very high difference in terms of electronegativity, it's going to be stronger the acid. So let me write this down here. So high, I'm going to use delta En as electronegativity equals stronger acid. So if we know that, we can basically classify the first two compounds here, right? We have HCl and HBr, and if you are kind of recognized from our periodic table here, uh, chlorine uh, is fr is further up than bromine. So therefore, chlorine here is a more electronegative atom than bromine, right? We know electro ne electronegativity decreases as we go down the periodic table in terms of the column here. So fluorines are most electronegative, and then it's chlorine, and then it's bromine here. So therefore, chlorine is more electronegative than bromine. Therefore, chlorine here is the stronger acid. So therefore, we have CHCl here. So we're going to rank them now. So we have HCl, and then it's going to be HBr. So we have we ranked the first two here. And then what I want to do now is I have these two compounds here. These two compounds here are not typically acids. We have H2O, which is water. So that's neutral here. And then we have LiH. LiH is lithium hydride. So we have these two compounds and we basically know that water, we know the we know water can become an acid and base, right? We know that water um, can behave like H2O plus H2O here. It's in equilibrium, and you can think of it as you can form H3O plus, so your hydronium ion, which gives it is acidity characteristics, and also HOH minus here, right? So we have these two. We know that this is the auto auto ionization of water. And this just means water, water can behave as acids and bases, right? So we know water is neutral here. So we know that it's the pH of seven. So it's not very a strong acid. In this case, it's just simply a, a neutral substance. And we know lithium hydride here. Lithium hydride is not a, um, it's not a covalent compound here. Lithium hydride is an ionic compound. And we know that ionic compound, they're usually formed, um, ionic salt specifically, they're usually formed uh, by, like through, uh, through, a, through an acid-base reaction, right? So if we have lithium hydride here, So we have lithium hydride. We can kind of separate this into ions, right? We have lithium plus 
and and uh, we have lithium plus here, and then we have H minus, right? We have kind of a weird compound H minus here, which this here forms our lithium hydride, right? So in order for us to break uh, break this down um, in terms of acid base reaction, so we have lithium here, lithium. Uh, lithium and we also have some type of acid right so we have lithium here it's going to be our positive cation which means it's going to give us our base right so you can say maybe lithium hydroxide for example is a strong base and we have h um, we have h some type of acid so hcl will give us our acid here and this here would then form lithium hydride plus water right? a simple double displacement reaction um, so oh this is lithium chloride sorry this will give us lithium chloride it won't give us uh it wouldn't give us um, lithium hydride. Sorry, uh, let me just think about this here. We have lithium, uh, lithium oxide, hydroxide here, and we have H minus. I guess it would just be like H two O or something if I add it towards H. I have added added with like um, water or something like that, and water here being the acid, you would get something like lithium hydride and um and h3o plus so um so it really depends on kind of um kind of what the situation is but either way lithium hydride lithium hydride here is an ionic substance which means we don't really care about like its acids and base properties and we know that uh for ionic substances here lithium hydride would be um would be even less uh, less acidic than water here. So in order for us to kind of uh, finish this question here, we have water, which can be behaving as acid and base. So water would go here. And then finally, lithium hydride would be last here. Lithium hydride doesn't possess any um, any properties, right? Because if we did do the, if we drew out the chemical formula for the, for, uh, for lithium hydride, so lithium hydride, I don't know why my pen's on. Lithium hydride plus water here. If I were to do the um, acid base reaction, so you would get something like H3O plus and Li here. And Li here would just be a positive here. And this wouldn't actually happen here. This reaction will not occur because we have both a positive, positive charges on both of them here. So in this case, again, they will repel and they probably wouldn't actually react back in terms of uh, the, the, the backwards reaction or the reverse reaction here. And lithium hydride, in this case, they wouldn't ideally dissociate, to be honest. You have a lithium um, plus an H, H minus here. And H minus is um, very, 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 uh, very, very unreactive uh, here. So in, in, in this case, you wouldn't even get this association. So therefore, this here is the correct answer. HCl, HBr, H2, and LiH. So what the student wrote here, they wrote HBrs first and then HCl, and then they got these two right here. So they just swapped these two here. So this, uh, and they didn't really provide a solution. So I'm gonna say a solution here is indirect. HCl is more acidic than HBr. Also no, include an explanation of why H, of why, um, of why periodic trends relate to acidic strength of acids through difference in electronegativity. Higher difference, greater acid strength. I misspelled that here. Did I misspell this? Nope. Okay, we're good. So I'm going to say solution here is incorrect.